Science Magazine present My First Video, a compilation of four best loved preschool stories. It also features extracts from Postman Pat's 123 video and Spot's Alphabet. So sit back and enjoy the fun. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. Spot is certainly busy every month of the year. Can you remember what he does each month? says he must know all his numbers up to ten before Easter. Quite right too, I say. How will he ever be a farmer if he can't count? Hmm, I see what you mean, said Pat. I'd be sunk if I couldn't count. How would I ever find the house numbers down in the village? Now, let's see. How can we help young Tom? I know, I know, said Katie. We can make another book. We'll make the pictures and you can put the words in for us, Pat. Postman Pat, Postman Pat, Postman Pat and his black and white cat. All the birds are singing and the day is just beginning. Pat feels he's a really happy man. Pat feels he's a really happy man. Oscar got the blame. This is Oscar. And this is Oscar's friend, Billy. Oscar's mum and dad think Oscar made Billy up. 
Whenever Oscar talked about Billy, his mum and dad said, Don't be silly. I'm sick and tired of you talking about Billy. But Oscar and Billy were the best of friends. Day and night. Sometimes, Oscar let Billy have some of his dinner. Oscar, this really has to stop. But then, had to eat it all himself. When Billy left little bits of mud around the house... Oh, Oscar, how many more times? How long is this going to continue? Oscar got the blaze. Now go away and stop talking about Billy, please. When Billy dressed the dog in Dad's things... Oscar! Oscar got the blame. When Billy put frogs in Granny's slippers. Oscar got the blame. Oscar! When Billy made breakfast. Oscar, how many more times have I told you? Just come here, come here, get away from the breakfast things. I told you never to touch my eggs. Don't go near the fridge ever again, you understand? Oscar got the blame. When Billy washed the cat. Oscar got the blame. This is the first and last time you will wash the cat. Cats do not like water. Now go and dry the cat, would you please? Little fluff dry with the hair dry and the towel. And put the cat back in the basket. And when Billy left the bathroom taps running... <laughs> Oscar got the blame. Right, that's it, Oscar. I've had enough. Up to your room, and you're not telling a story tonight. You can forget all about it. I don't want to hear any more nonsense. Do you understand? And was sent to bed without a story. It's not fair, said Oscar. Nobody believes in my friend Billy. <laughs> they never do, said Billy. There was once a herd of elephants. Elephants young. Elephants old. Elephants tall or fat or thin. Elephants like this, that, or the other. All different, but all happy, and all the same colour. All, that is, except Elmer. Elmer was different. Elmer was patchwork. Elmer was yellow and orange and red and pink and purple and blue and green and black and white. Elmer was 
not elephant color. As they laughed, 
but the rain cloud burst. And when the rain fell on Elmer, his patchwork started to show again. The elephants still laughed as Elmer was washed back to normal. Oh, Elmer. <laughs> gasped an old elephant. Oh, you've played some good jokes, but this has been the biggest laugh of all. <laughs> it didn't take you long to show your true colors, eh? <laughs> we must celebrate this day every year, said another. This will be Elmer's day. All elephants must decorate themselves and Elmer will decorate himself elephant color. <laughs> that is exactly what the elephants do. On one day a year, they decorate themselves and parade. On that day, if you happen to see an elephant, ordinary elephant color, you will know it must be Elmer. day for the parrot family. Penny, soon you'll have a little brother called Perry, said her father. Won't that be nice, asked her mother. Penny didn't think it would be nice. She liked her family just the way it was. Just her, mum and dad. cutest little thing. He certainly is, Mother. And talking already. Penny, what do you think of him? Yuck! What a little creep. Go on. Say it again. Diddums. Oh, Chico! He'd only been around for a few minutes and already Penny was fed up with the newcomer. All he did was smile and say, Coochie Coo. And Mum and Dad went all gooey. Oh, well, if that's what you had to do to get a little attention, she'd try it. Coochie-coo, coochie-coo. What's got into you, Penny? You're acting like a little baby. What a pain in the neck. What a pain in the neck. Hello, Penny. Is it very painful? What? Your pain in the neck. I don't have a real pain in my neck, Ethel. It's just the way I feel about my new little brother. Oh, but he's so cute. Everyone loves him. I know. Before he came along, everyone loved me. Especially my mum and dad. But now it's, isn't little Perry cute? And listen to him say, coochie coo. Aren't you being a bit jealous, Penny? He's only a baby. Ah, uh, maybe you're right. Anyway, I better go. I promised Mum I'd look after Perry while she goes shopping. I won't be long, Penny. Just make sure Perry finishes his porridge. Now, I've just cleaned the house, so I expect to see everything spit and span when I get back. And you won't be any trouble at all, will you, Perry? Yuck! Oh, isn't he a mischievous little rascal? Better clean that up. There's a good girl, Penny. I'll be off then. Listen to me, little brother. You're going to sit quietly while I read you a story. Go, Chico! Once upon a time, there was a little parrot named Red Riding Hood. And she was on her way to visit her grandmother, 
when she heard a strange noise. Oh, oh. Calm down at once, Terry, or you'll be covered in soot. Oh, just look at this mess. How will we ever get it cleaned up before Mum gets back? I can help you, Penny. about getting you two cleaned up. As they rode home, Penny thought about her new little brother. She remembered she'd been just as mischievous when she was little. Maybe after he learned a few words besides Coochie Coo, she might even get to like him. Oh, what a nice surprise. The house is thick and span, and so are you two. And Perry was no trouble at all, was he? Ah, oh, no trouble at all, Mum. He's a little angel. Could he go? <laughs> know about singing, squawked Jay. I know the song was nicer before you joined in, said Bump. I'll sing on my own then, yelled Jay, making such a racket the others flew away. 
Quiet, you'll wake my baby, cried Mrs. Squirrel. How can we stop him, asked Bump. Like this, growled Macduff, barking at Jay in his fiercest voice. That's even worse, complained Mrs. Squirrel. Wasn't that the best song ever, said Jay proudly. It was certainly loud, said Birdie. But I know someone who can sing louder. No one can sing louder than me, shrieked Jay. Bump can, chirped Birdie. Mm -hmm. Elephants can't sing. Show him, Bump, whistled Birdie. Bump took a deep breath and let his song go. Mm -hmm. With a surprised squawk, away went Jay. Well done, Bump, said Birdie. Sometimes loud songs are wanted after all. I still wish I could sing like you. Never mind, chirped Birdie, flying back to her family. We'll sing your favorite song. Which made Bump so happy he had to dance. Tempo Preschool Video offers the perfect entertainment for the under fives. There's tales with unexpected twists and lots of fun in Not Now Bernard and Other Stories by David McKee. And I Want a Cat and Other Stories by Tony Ross includes the best-selling toddler classic I Want My Potty and Super Duper Jezebel. There's lots of fun for all the family. Sing along to all your favorite rhymes with Tempo's very own Golden Treasury of Nursery Rhymes. There's lots of favorite friends in the six stories featured on the Mr. Men and Little Miss video. Meet the junglies and join Tyrone Tiger on his first day at school. Don't miss the world's most lovable puppy and his friends in Spot's first video and The Adventures of Spot. And learning can also be fun with Spot's alphabet and Spot learns to count, introducing basic educational concepts that any child can enjoy. Young Tom Pottage has difficulty coming to terms with his alphabet and counting, but Postman Pat is always ready to lend a hand. A timeless favorite with all children are the Paddington Bear stories, written by Michael Bond and narrated by Sir Michael Horton. Bump the Baby Elephant features in these gentle stories delightfully narrated by Simon Cadell. And perfect for pre-bedtime viewing are the tempo range of classic tales. The tales of Aesop are brought to life with delightful puppet animation and humorously narrated by Tom Baker. And Tell Me a Story includes well-loved stories told by Jan Francis. There's something for everyone with Tempo Video.